Hello and welcome to Tech Deals. Allow me to introduce you to the best $60 APU that no one should buy. At least in the United States anyway, where for $15 more, this is what you should buy, the Ryzen 3 2200G. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Athlon 200GE, 220GE, and 240GE, the two-core, four-thread with integrated Vega 3 graphics APUs from AMD. To be absolutely clear, this is actually a good line of APUs taken on their own merits. It's just that the Ryzen 3 2200G exists. If, however, you don't live in the United States or some of the Western countries where these are readily available, if the price difference is larger in your country, then this may be worth a look because on their own, the value for the money here is pretty good. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you several game benchmarks on these APUs featuring Fortnite, very popular worldwide game today. These benchmarks are live gameplay in real battles, not just some small benchmark. I'll show you the footage as well as the charts to show you what you can and cannot do on these budget APUs. In our testing today, I primarily tested with the Athlon 240GE, which is the top of the line. The only real difference between these three models is the CPU parts clock speed ranging from 3.2 to 3.5 gigahertz. All three have the same Vega 3 integrated graphics. Truthfully, you could put any of these in your system and the performance will be about the same. As I'm recording this, they're all about the same price. So if they're within $5 of each other, just get the 240G. Our test bench today is the X470 base ASUS ROG STRIX-F motherboard. The CPU and the APU will run at stock speeds and we have 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200CL16 running in dual channel mode. The recordings that you're about to see were recorded on an external computer using a hardware capture card, so no performance was lost with making these recordings. MSI Afterburner provided the real-time performance numbers and the benchmark numbers, including the 1% and 0.1% lows that you'll see later in the charts. Do keep in mind that two gigabytes of main system RAM is set aside for the uh, integrated graphics on these APUs, leaving us with an effective 14 gigabytes of RAM. If you only install eight gigabytes, you're actually only left with six, which can be pretty tight in modern games with Windows. So I do recommend 16 gigabytes if at all possible. If your game or application goes over two gigabytes of RAM, it just falls over into the rest of main system RAM, not costing you any performance, but that's what's set aside for the APUs. Links in the video description below to all of the Athlon APUs and to the Ryzen APUs, which frankly are a better deal if they're within 15 to maybe even $30 of these APUs, will be linked to Amazon, Newegg, and eBay down in the video description below. Those are affiliate links. They do support the channel at no extra cost to you. If you like this content and my time spent showing you these, please consider using those when shopping. Whether you buy these, these, or something else, it certainly is appreciated. Now on with the benchmarks. Two gold stars for all of you for watching all 17 minutes of those benchmarks, thank you. I wanted to show you enough live gameplay footage to give you a real world idea of what to expect if you buy one of these APUs. Benchmark charts are nice, but they don't give you the full picture. For example, in Fortnite, I showed you three different sections of the battle, and if you fast forward to this part, go back and watch it because I showed you three different sections because frame rate varies by a wide margin depending upon what you're doing, and so you can use that footage to really understand what these can and cannot do. I recently reviewed the new Ryzen 5 3400G APU, four core, eight thread with Vega 11 graphics, and to be honest, it utterly demolishes these APUs in terms of performance. But it does cost about twice as much money as these, and I understand that not everybody wants to spend that kind of money. That is why the Ryzen 3 2200G is such an incredible value for the money. As I'm recording this video, it is only $78 new directly from Amazon, and that is only $15 more than the 240GE. You get Vega 8 graphics instead of Vega 3, it's more than twice as powerful. You get four true cores, and if you look in front of me, you will see two coolers. 
The small cooler in front of me is the cooler that comes with the Athlons. It does the job, but it's not the silent cooler that you might expect. The small fan on there tends to turn pretty fast. This larger cooler right here is the Wraith Stealth Cooler, and it comes with the Ryzen 3 2200G, and it is far superior in both cooling performance and noise profile to the one that comes with the Athlons. The cooler difference alone is worth at least $10. So for the $15 price difference, the 2200G is the deal. Allow me to point out the real deal in gaming today. As nice as the Athlon APUs are, as nice as the Ryzen APUs are, if you at all can afford $200, the real value in terms of raw price to performance would be a Ryzen 5 1600 and then a used RX 570 or 580. You can currently buy a first generation U1600 and a used RX 570 on eBay for under $200 combined for the two of them. The raw gaming performance of those two options versus any APU is just night and day. We're not talking 30 or 40% faster, we're talking three to 400% faster. If you truly wanna play games and you can afford $200, skip all of the APUs and buy this. But if you don't have the budget for that, well, these exist. You may notice I have no windows or productivity benchmarks in this video. In my opinion, they're simply not necessary. This generation of AMD Athlons have Zen cores in them. The previous Athlons did not, and those shouldn't be considered at all. But these have the same cores in them, the same architecture and power efficiency as the Ryzen CPUs do. So in Windows, they're fast, they're responsive, they're energy efficient. If you want to browse the web, check your email, do some light image editing. If you want to watch YouTube videos such as this, watch your Twitch streams. If you wanna use Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, if those are the tasks you wanna do, these will actually do it wonderful. They're the perfect office CPU with the built-in graphics. If you wanna do anything hardcore or heavy, video editing, for example, they are the wrong choice. So when it comes to general Windows performance, for anything light, they're great. For anything else, buy more. These do have one other benefit besides all the others I've already mentioned. If you need an inexpensive CPU for testing multiple AM4 boards, perhaps for updating the BIOS or doing diagnostics without an installed video card, perhaps you're a PC tech and you repair machines for a living, this is actually something I would add to my own toolkit for that sort of work because of the integrated graphics and because of the broad support across multiple AM4 motherboards, it's quite handy for that task. Not that that applies to most of you, but it is an additional feature. Thank you all so much for watching today. Like this video if you like it. Share it with your friends if you love it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with the big huge red button directly below. Questions, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions, you know where the comment section is. I don't have a chance to respond to every comment, but I promise you I do read them all and they are greatly appreciated. Links in the video description below to all of these and all of these, and the other items I showed you in this video will be down there. Links to a few other videos, links to our social media, Twitch, Twitter, and the Tech Deals Discord is down there as well. And if you like our content and you wanna support the channel, link to our Patreon, Floatplane, YouTube membership are all down there as well. We certainly appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. I will see all of you next time.